Thanks for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. Today, I'll be walking you through one of our latest feature releases, which allows marketers to easily create, target, and deploy surveys on their website. While web surveys might typically be handled by a point solution, Interaction Studio's survey capability helps further streamline your MarTech stack and provides business users the ability to not only capture consumer feedback and insight, but to also target surveys based on the full breadth and depth of data stored within the unified customer profile. Survey responses can be referenced and leveraged in real time to further personalize the customer experience in session. So to build a survey, which is part of Interaction Studio's premium edition, you'd simply navigate to the Surveys tab within the left-hand navigation of the platform. When you click into this tab, it'll bring up a list of all surveys that you currently have built. So if I double click into my survey, this is gonna open up the survey editor interface. In this area is where I'll be able to determine what questions I want to ask that user. I have a set of different out of the box options available to me, single input, checkbox, radio group, drop down, comment, rating. If you wanna have a little bit more of an advanced survey, you can even choose an HTML type to actually customize the, the logic behind that question. Once I've selected an option, you can see that I can format the actual question that I'm gonna ask the user. If I have options there, I can determine what are those options for that user to select. If I wanted to add in an additional question here, all I'd have to do is click on the question type and it adds it below the question that I'm currently actively on. You can set up multi-page surveys, determine if a question should be required or not, or even put in conditional formatting around what questions to ask somebody based on their answer. All of this information is then made available to you to actually leverage within a campaign. So if I close out of the survey, I've now created that survey that I wanna use in my web campaign, and now I'm actually gonna go ahead and build that survey campaign through the visual editor. So exactly the same as how you'd build a web campaign here, we have a survey template. So as that business user, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that new campaign button. I can then go ahead and select that survey template. Once I select that template, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select which of my published surveys I want to reference in this campaign. In this case, I have it as that nice pop-up. This can be configured in terms of how you want that survey to render on the page, that I can go ahead and test out that functionality. So if I click on seven, that's gonna be my rating. And then I have some of that conditional formatting to say, what are the inputs that I then want to hear from that individual customer? And all of this is then stored against that customer's profile to allow us to leverage it for real-time feedback as well as real-time campaign targeting. But we're also actually storing any response against that unified customer profile. So you'll see here on that user profile, we have a survey responses tab. And this is where we're gonna store those responses to those surveys, much like user attributes. So any of these survey responses can be referenced in a segment or campaign targeting logic, much like you can reference a user attribute today. So right then and there, I have that segment ready to go. I can use that to target campaign experiences. So the moment they finish that survey, they actually could be targeted with an experience based on those answers in session in real time. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.